Greetings, uh, myself Dr. Anand Raman, Senior Consultant Interventional Cardiologist, Kaveri Hospital, Chennai. Now today we are going to talk about uh, the treatment options available for heart blocks. That is we are talking about blockages in the heart blood vessels, otherwise called uh, coronary stenosis in the medical terms. First, uh, why does it happen? Obviously it happens because of diabetes, hypertension, poor uh, set of eating habits, high cholesterol, stress, sleeplessness, all those things will add and over a period of time cholesterol will deposit and blockages will happen. So what do we do about this and uh, how do we treat them? Now the first thing is uh, prevention is better than cure. So if you can prevent it happening that itself is better. So how we do it? Good lifestyle that is uh, regular exercise, avoiding fried foods, having adequate sleep at least 6 to 8 hours and avoiding sort of takeaway foods. And then having regular checkup to check for uh, blood pressure and cholesterol and having it controlled adequately. So that's very important. But in spite of this, if you still get it, then the treatment options are initially it will be medical treatment where the blood thinners will be given, cholesterol lowering drugs will be given, drugs will be given to prevent heart attack. But if you are still getting symptoms or if you have a heart attack, that the treatment options are you will get an angiogram done to identify the blockage, number of blocks in the blood vessels there are three major blood vessels and the amount of blockage that is a degree of narrowing then decision will be made between surgery or angioplasty procedure for certain patients surgery is the better treatment especially patients having diabetes and uh, three blood vessel blockages nowadays surgery is also a safe procedure with uh, low risk for patients for angioplasty there are multiple options of angioplasty available depending on the amount of calcium in that blockage if the calcium is too much, we have got calcium modification. Laser treatment is available to reduce the calcium and to do or do without stenting as decided by intravascular imaging. There is also intravascular lithotripsy which is a balloon which will crack the calcium. There is rotablation which will ablate the calcium. So we have got multiple modalities to reduce this calcium. Following this, we will be taking a picture inside the blood vessel identify the type of blockage and decide whether to put stent or not. There are two types of stent available. One is absorbable scaffolds for young patients with uh, sort of what we call discrete less than 10 millimeter blocks. They can have the scaffolds which dissolves within one year. For longer lesions, we put drug coated stents, fourth generation drug coated stents. They are very safe and their durability is also very good. So these are the treatment options for the blockages in the heart blood vessels. Now after that it's very important to continue the medications and continue with the cardiac rehabilitation program and continue follow up with control of risk factors. So that is the most important thing with the heart block treatment. Thank you.